We've been spending the morning at the Bergstrom Mahler Museum of Glass, and Emily Deem is there checking it out. She's live in Nina. Good morning, Em. Hey, Rachel, good morning to you. Hi, everyone. We're checking out an exhibit that's on display. It's going to be on display for a little more than a month now, so you better come out here, check it out. It's free to get into the museum and explore what they have to offer. Now, this exhibit is Beauty Beyond Nature, the Glass Art of Paul Stankard. We're getting an up-close and personal look at some of his glass artwork as well. Jan Smith is here. She'll be handling. She has her gloves on, going to be handling some of these pieces. Jan, what are we seeing this morning? We're going to take a look at some new acquisitions to the museum. We've got this great exhibition of Paul's work here and we are fortunate to have a couple of people who have given us these two pieces by Paul. So they haven't gone on display yet. I think they're going on display this morning probably in one of the other galleries. So what we get to see here is a piece that he made, a paperweight that he made in 2000 and it has all of his fun stuff in it. It has little word canes that he started making. Paul started just as a scientific glass blower and uh, used that technique uh, working over a flame to start creating little art Look pieces of art in glass. Oh. So we have the underside of this as he was starting to explore a new form in paperweights. He was inspired by things we have in our collection like the 19th century pieces and then really took it further. So he is credited to really have made some breakthroughs in, in this art form and do something new and vibrant and exciting. So beautiful piece from the year 2000 and as he's taken that forward he's become much more complex. You know, he started out with just making individual little flowers in paperweights, and so this is a whole composition of all kinds of flowers moved together. You may not find this in nature, but boy, he's, he's just decided to stuff this in with bees, um, bees that pollinate the plants, so he likes to talk about nature. He likes to talk about how nature propagates itself and how things change. And then he's also a poet. And Walt Whitman was one of his favorite inspirations. So Walt Whitman is depicted in glass, again, as a portrait. And we call these portrait canes. That was made by Lauren Stump, another artist who has helped Paul create uh, some of these little um, cane inserts uh, as that are pictorial elements in the pieces. Otherwise, these are all done uh, petal by petal, piece by piece, and then assembled and then encased in clear glass. They're just amazing. Everything is glass. They really are, and there are some videos that you can watch out there, too, to see how everything kind of comes together. This exhibit is really great. Like I said, free to come out here. Go to our website to learn more and the times that you can come check out the exhibit and the rest of the museum. Rachel